Hello, and the purpose of this video today is to show how to find your Dropbox for high rise. Uh, the reason you'd want to use this is so that you can send quick information to high rise from your email. Um, the beauty of it is, is if it's a new contact that doesn't exist inside of high rise at this time, it'll automatically create a new contact with the email address that is in the, the to address that you send it and it also attached email message to that new contact if the person already exists then it will find that contact and add your new email to that person so let's go to our high rise that we use and it is belts.highrisehq.com it could be anything that you use on your own um, as you can see what we use is I use myself open ID let me log in with that Now I'm inside of high rise. So this is your normal screen, and I'm going to go to my info. Inside of my info, you have contact permissions, user account, email Dropbox, task reminders. Email Dropbox is what we want to use. Email Dropbox, your personal drop the Dropbox address. There's a quick explanation of how it works. I can bring up a new window. It actually explains step by step how this works. I'm just using this video to make things a little bit quicker so that we can all just easily just look at a video to find it out. You can create tasks by forwarding emails, create tasks by sending emails. Basically what we're going to do here is send an email to a person page. And that's pretty much what we're going to go through. So basically, I go back and I'm inside of high rise here for our company. I went to I went to my info, I clicked on email dropbox, and here's my dropbox address. So I copy that, and then when I go to my email, obviously we're belts and beyond, I propose a new email, and what I would do is I would type in um, a brand new one, I would suppose. Let's let's just make one up, I guess. Um, X, Y, Z, at belts and beyond. Now I know this one doesn't exist, so the beauty of it is, be able to find this brand new contact inside of high rise and I get to show you what happens. If I go to add BCC and I throw that in. you'd always want to put this in see I already have it remembered in mind. So you want to throw this into the BCC so that way the person receiving the email doesn't know that we're doing this or they don't need you know when they hit reply all it doesn't come back to that. So you can send to multiple people. This is testing high rise. And I'm just going to send that right away. It's probably going to bounce back that the email doesn't exist. Unless I have a catch-all, I can't remember what I did. So well, let's go back to Hyros. I'm not sure how fast this is going to happen. It would be pretty cool if it happened instantly just like that. But I don't think it's going to happen that fast. I'm not sure. And let's just take a look. Oh, my. Look at that. Today. This is new contact just went in. XYZ from Meltamion.com. If I open it up. Saturday 19th from Andrew Foster, just a texting high rise email. Now, that contact was just created. It's a brand new contact. Um, it came from the email. And now, what we do, just to show you another thing, oh, look at that. So, this came from my Google Mail. See, this account doesn't exist. So, obviously, the following represent failed permanently. So, as you see, an email doesn't exist. But let's just create another email. Um, Let's take one that I would have got, say, from uh, Julie LeBlanc. Now, she's already in our system. But let me open this up, and let's do, I want to capture this one, so let's do a forward on it. And what I would do is I would just put that box right into the forward. And what happens is this email automatically gets put into, attached to her, because she already exists inside of our system. By doing this, it just adds that to her contact info. So you want to put this inside of, um, the BCC if you're sending an email or doing a reply to somebody and there it is recent history that was pretty quick so it went attached right there she already exists inside of our system um, that is how you get your thing and that's how you use it again if you really want to figure out uh, more in depth how to do it you can go into my info go under um, the email Dropbox 
and like I said, there's a how how it works. As you see, there's things for creating tasks. Um, I don't do this personally as of yet. I haven't evolved to that level, but it's pretty cool. Obviously, it works great. Tasks are really easy to set up through high rise. But for now, we like to just track our information that we're passing back and forth. The big purpose for doing this is so that is so that let's say somebody else had to pick up uh, off the conversation X Y Z at beltsmeon.com, and I was doing all the initial legwork. I was setting up the the pre-sales. I was setting up the initial uh, meeting information or whatever it may be. And then let's say somebody had to step in and take over the job. Well, all they need to do is come into high rise then look up that contact person and then look through the track of emails that I collected. And then they can step in into my shoes and, and continue on with the process as if, as if they were doing it all along. Um, thank you very much for uh, watching this.